Molen Technologies is gearing up to test a new battery that could revolutionize the industry. By the end of 2023, the California-based company plans to showcase the technology in its latest lineup of electric cars. In addition, Molen's solid-state polymer battery technology will be added to Class 1 commercial EV cargo vans. This will increase their range from 110 to 200 miles on just one charge. By Q4 2023, other modifications will also be made after the Menzies Aviation 60-day pilot program ends. These modifications might include more seating capacity and additional windows, which will help the drivers see better. So in this video, we're going to break down all the information we have about the announcement, which could change the game for Molen. Molen Automotive is a new electric vehicle maker that wants to shake things up by selling fancy SUVs, sports cars, and delivery vans and using a special battery. It's unusual because successful EV companies are mostly run by smart engineers, but Mullen's boss, David Mitchery, doesn't have that background. He used to work in showbiz and created Mullen by buying up many car companies that were in trouble. And now, David's leadership had just made daring statements about how his company will transform the solid-state battery industry. There have been many reports about the car industry investing billions in solid-state battery technology. However, Mullen's research and development budget for 2021 was only $3 million, which was mainly used to create exhibition cars. So, their claims of having revolutionary solid-state battery technology seemed unlikely. In an interview on January 28, 2022, Mishuri stated that Mullen would release solid-state polymer batteries within the next 18 to 24 months, beating every other significant automaker to the punch. QuantumScape, a solid-state technology developer, has raised $1.2 billion, including $300 million from Volkswagen, to create solid-state battery technology. The company plans to start commercial production between 2024 and 2025. But it seems like the other big car companies have different plans. Toyota is working with Panasonic, and they have a lot of patents for solid-state batteries. They want to start using them in 2025. Meanwhile, Mercedes and Stellantis plan to use their solid-state technology in 2027 and 2026. Nissan and BMW are aiming for 2028 and 2030, respectively. And GM, Ford, and Hyundai have all said they're putting a lot of money into solid-state batteries, but they haven't given any specific dates for their use. Mullen said their polymer battery was tested independently by EV Grid, and the results were amazing. However, the CEO of EV Grid disagrees and says they never said that. Mullen's press release on February 28 made big claims about their solid-state battery testing, but it didn't mention any outside developer or testing partner. The press release only mentioned that their cell produced 343 amp hours at 4.3 volts. Mullen made incredible claims about its licensed solid-state polymer battery technology in a press release on August 10, 2020. The press release stated that an independent lab EV Grid Incorporated, based in San Dimas, California, tested Mullen's battery and found that its range was almost twice that of other top EV companies, and its charging was much faster. Tom Gage, CEO of EV Grid, has contacted to verify the results. He wasn't impressed with the battery, saying it was big and misshapen, which made him question its credibility. In fact, he described it as an ugly thing. Furthermore, a senior executive denied the existence of a joint venture with Next Metals for Mullen's solid-state batteries. This raises question about Mullen's other partnership announcements. In January 2020, David Mitchery tweeted about a joint venture with Next Metals to manufacture solid-state batteries in the U.S. under license. Mullen announced its plans to merge and go public in June 2020. They claimed they had valuable lithium battery patents that could create batteries rivaling Tesla's technology. Mullen emphasized the importance of their joint venture with Next Metals Limited, a Ukrainian company, to create a solid-state battery under their new division called Mullen Next. A senior executive with detailed knowledge of the supposed joint venture was consulted to confirm the truthfulness of Mullen's and Mishery's claims about the next metal's JV. 
According to the executive, the joint venture was non-existent and no single piece of paper existed to support it. The next Meadows representatives even walked out and called Mullen a hustler with no substance. Moreover, Mullen first disagreed with its battery technology licensing partner, Linghao Boao, due to confidentiality. When Next Metals was shown a few pages of the agreement, an executive stated that they had no rights to do it in the US and that the Chinese would make and sell it to them. However, the executive added that there was no spec sheet and the whole situation was ridiculous. The executive also mentioned that Michiri couldn't produce the specs and presented a bent battery. Using a solid-state battery, bending it could damage the ceramic or polymer electrolyte in the middle. Now, on January 24, 2020, Michiri boasted the same damaged battery in a picture, announcing that the non-assistant JV would change the world. Before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. But let's continue to know more about Mullen's solid-state battery. Mullen made claims about their battery technology, but it turns out they were using technology licensed by a new Chinese battery company, Linghang Boao. Reports say Mullen didn't hold up its end of the bargain with Linghang Boao Group. They only made one payment of $390,000 after signing a three-year agreement to co-develop a battery management system. The deal was worth a total of $2,196,000. After making the payment, Mullen boasted about the importance of the agreement to their Go Public merger plans. But they quickly terminated the deal, leaving Linghang Boao Group high and dry. In November 2018, Linghang Boao was registered in China just a year before the agreement with Mullen. Chinese records reveal that it shares a cell phone number with 99 other companies, and its address is in a high rise building rather than a factory. Its U.S. website registered nine months before the Mullen Agreement is now defunct, as is its Chinese website. Two years ago, an online slide deck claimed that Linghan Boao has been continuously breaking through in the field of power and energy storage batteries. Despite this, Mullen based its bold battery claims on its agreement with Linghan Boao during its announced Go Public merger in June 2020. Mullen claimed that the merger would enable it to accelerate the development of its unique battery technology, which is non-flammable, puncture-proof, capable of maintaining full capabilities after 500,000 cycles, and synthetic, requiring no mining of natural resources. However, Mullen terminated its relationship with Lingham Boao a few months later, in September 2020, citing COVID-19 as a force majeure event. Additionally, a research firm alleges that Mullen's claims regarding their battery technology are deceptive and insubstantial. They said Mullen has been lying to investors repeatedly about its battery technology. They recently announced a partnership with Next Tech Batteries, a small research and development company based in Nevada with around 17 employees. The CEO of Next Tech, Bill Berger, was honest about the current status of their technology when asked. He mentioned they are still in the prototype and research phase and need more funding to build a manufacturing facility, continue testing, and move towards larger scale production. Mullen seems to be trying to use Nextech's reputation to make unrealistic claims to investors, promising quick results that are unlikely to happen. In the end, people are talking to a lot about Mullen's solid state battery venture. However, it's crystal clear that Mullen is determined to develop top-notch cars for the market using everything at their disposal. So, do you think Mullen can deliver its polymer-based solid-state battery by the end of the year? Or do you think otherwise? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments section below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons as well. Now, if you want to know more about what's new from Mullen, then make sure to click and watch this video right here and enjoy. And that's the end of this video guys. See you next time!